Hey guys, how's your uh, Tuesday so far? So I'm currently outside of Twin Peaks. I had a chance to talk to this girl named Haley. Uh, had such a great conversation with this woman. Uh, it's basically one of my favorite waitresses to attend. So I can't wait for her to take care of me uh, the next month. So uh, today is the monthly Game of Former magazine. So you can see it comes out with the uh, Spider-Man uh, for the PS4. Um, uh, I've been a bit of an admirer of the Spider-Man series. I really have. But um, I don't know. For me, I'm still trying to remove the, uh, the toxic that was uh, Tobey Maguire. I mean, he was a good Spider-Man. But for some reason, he, he made it too dramatic. And for me, he just to put too much I don't know for me I think he's a really great actor but I think for him as a superhero was for me it was a big no-no and once Spider-Man 3 came out I was like hell no <laughs> no way uh-uh I'm not gonna no so uh, we're gonna talk about what games and what movies are gonna be coming out in this month so uh, there is one game in particular that I'm really, really looking forward to it. The only bad thing is that it comes out until the month, like almost the end of this month. Which is a bit of a distance, but, you know, I still got God of War going on. I still got some other games that I'm playing. So, uh, I'm in no rush whatsoever for that game to come out so I mean if it takes uh, you know a while so be it I mean I as long as I keep myself busy and occupied I mean it's no I mean there's no uh, what do you call it there is no um, uh, problem it's just funny I just had it Oh, okay, here it is. So, this is the games that are going to be coming out in the month of May. So, I'll be saying it and its date, and you just, you know, write down whatever catches your attention. Okay, so this Friday, the 4th, uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Breeze will come out for the Switch. So, if you want to add extra games in there for your Switch, definitely check it out. Next Tuesday, Conan Exiles, which was mostly of their Conan series has always been more of a PC friendly but now they're doing it for you know consoles so that's always a good thing uh, and then on next Tuesday the following Tuesday after that the uh, the 15th uh, Dragon's Crown Pro for the PS4 Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux uh, the only uh, Shin Megami Tensei that I know by heart is uh, Devil Summoner, Persona obviously, and um, Nocturne. So uh, I'm I'm a bit curious about how Strange Journey Redux is. I'm assuming it's basically a remake to Strange Journey. On the 18th, which is on that Friday, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which was uh, for the uh, Wii U will make it switch um, touch or version of it little nightmares complete edition for the switch state of decay for the xbox one and pc um, I, I don't even know what the hell I, i'm assuming it's a zombie game but i don't know i've I, I, the only zombie games i really caught my attention was obviously resident evil and um, Dead Rising. However, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, I really like how The Last of Us was being made and developed. But this other game that's coming out, uh, Days Gone, if I'm correct, which is a bit more of a action-oriented version of uh, Last of Us. Uh, I don't know, that's what I think. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for the 22nd, on the Tuesday, 
uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection will come out for the Switch and its sequel, Legacy Collections 2. Tennis World Tour. Yeah, like some guy would spend 60 fucking dollars just for a tennis game. On the 14th, I mean, no, I'm sorry, not on the 14th, on the 24th, which is on a Thursday, Dylan's Dead Hey, I'm sorry, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers for the 3DS. Um, yeah, um, don't know what that is. I'm sorry. On the 25th, uh, Dark Souls Remaster will come out for basically all multi platforms, basically for all consoles. Um, I know it's a really challenging game, but for me, it, I'd rather see people playing it than I am of actually investing time. So, it's... I would rather see people playing it than for me playing it. And then the Tuesday, the 29th, will be Everspace, which is a PS4 exclusive. Um, not sure what that is but I'll definitely go in and check it out now and see what what's all that about now movies now here's an interesting part right here if you're a movie buff and you want to mark down that calendar here's your chance so tomorrow the uh, movies and TV premieres uh, CBS will uh, will televise Code Black On the six, bitter, I mean, sweet bitter for stars. I actually have seen a bit of tro I mean, a bit of um, of trailers about that. However, there is another uh, stars original that will come out also on the six. It's called Vida, which is, I'm assuming, it's kind of like a modern day version of Showtime's Resurrection Boulevard, which is more of a Hispanic and Latino uh, atmosphere or oriented type of series so uh, yeah I mean that's definitely one of them that really caught my attention on the 11th Life of the Party will come out in theaters on Sunday Little Women will be coming will be released on PBS the 18th now this is where you want to mark your calendar if you're a comic book fan uh, Deadpool Deadpool 2 will come out on that Friday, so definitely mark that calendar. The 18th, 1-8. Uh, the 24th, Fauda or Fauda will premiere on uh, Netflix. Now, you want to mark your calendar for this one too. On the 25th, the Han Solo movie will come out. So if you're into Star Wars and you still want to take that bad taste out of um, The Last Jedi, here's your chance. Uh, this is basically a, um, a, a prequel uh, to how Han Solo became this uh, infamous um, character. So we'll, it'll just discuss about the story, how he was, how he met Chewbacca, how... He met Lando, Caris met Lando Carisian and stuff like that. It looks interesting, but I, I need more people to tell me go watch it. Because for me, I when, when, when I was watching The Last Jedi, I did have my expectations slightly below average. I, I, I just had this feeling that... I'm go I was going to be disappointed by this movie and when I saw it I was like yeah uh, I would have to say if I had to compare it to say Last Jedi and Rogue One I would rather watch Rogue One five times than to watch five minutes of The Last Jedi it was just it was unbearable for me to watch on the 20th, 28th I'm sorry the 28th on the Monday uh, his, I mean, a history original called Six will premiere. Uh, the 29th, 100 Code will be released or premiered on WGN. And uh, 
for the 30th, which is on a Wednesday, American Ninja Warrior will be premiering on NBC and Unbreakable Kim Smith for Netflix. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, Game-wise, uh, definitely Detroit Become Human. I, I got so attached of the um, Quantum Dream uh, games that they released. I, I never had a chance to play Beyond Two Souls because they didn't caught my attention as much as Heavy Rain did. Heavy Rain, to me, is the best Quantum Dream uh, title. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar, you guys haven't seen my uh, live stream of Detroit Become Human, uh, the uh, demo is there. If you want to take a look at it, go right ahead. Um, if you want to go ahead and try it out, it's for free, free download. Just get it, play the crap out of it for the next couple of weeks until the full version comes out. And uh, that's the only game that I really am focused on. But right now, with so many games that I'm currently playing, like right now with God of War, and then with other games that I'm still kind of catching up, like South Park. Uh, Fractured But Whole, uh, The Last of Us, uh, Left Behind, um, and some other games that I left to kind of have ass. I want to finish those up. Um, I definitely have an announcement to make about this uh, later on about where to live stream next. But that would be for another video. Uh, for movie wise, um, right now, especially with all these comic book movies coming out. I haven't seen uh, Black Panther, so I'm going to watch this week, and uh, maybe this weekend, or maybe next weekend, I will watch Infinity War, and then, you know, by that time, uh, Deadpool 2 will come out, and then uh, Han Solo. Uh, I don't know, I mean, there's a part of me that I'm very hesitant because I am a Star Wars fan, but I don't want to get too... Invested. I don't want to be too hyped about you know this movie because what if it comes on to shit? That's that's what I'm afraid of because I don't want another repeat of the Last Jedi. Um, that's pretty much it now. Of gamer culture, uh, the eighth on a Tuesday, they'll be having the LA Games Conference. So there's going to be releasing a couple of. Uh, panels and discussions about the type of games um, that's going on I mean perhaps some Hollywood well it says here that the game conference will take place at the Hollywood Hotel and it features fire, fireside chats panels roundtable discussions and more so and it was discussed about the future of esports and exploring the relationship between Hollywood and video games. We'll see how that goes. On the 9th, Justice League No Justice will come out. And uh, let me see, what does it say? And the Justice League is no longer on Earth. The first issue, the first, <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first issue of Scott Snyder's Justice League No Justice. The team is tasked to confront four giants that are devouring planets. DC calls this four this four issue series its most exciting bombastic event of the summer. We'll see how it goes. And then on the 16th, you got the Black Panther. I'm assuming they're going to do a. Um, let's see. Marvel is giving a new jumping points on the comics of Black Panther number one, penned by Tanish. Now he see coats. Okay, this issue in this issue in this issue, T'Challa is introduced to an expanded Wakanda, now poised to be an intergalactic empire. And that's interesting. And then the twenty-first is Digital Dragons. And see, so we add Gamescom, which is uh, I'm assuming it's a uh, German uh, convention. This two-day event in Krakow, or Krakow, I don't know how you say it, but I'm sorry if I'm killing it, 
features many speakers from Poland's flourishing game development scene, an indie showcase, and Polish Game Awards. Well, definitely check it out if you're going to be visiting around uh, Europe uh, almost in the end of the month. So that pretty much wraps up for the um, games and movies that we're releasing or coming out in the month of May. So if you have any questions, you have any movies that you have in mind or games that you have in mind, you want to talk about it, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to reply. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, tonight I'll be live streaming God of War for another two hours. Uh, we'll see how far I could take it. I know sometimes I do have that tendency of being very, how should I call it, persistent of trying to knock down a puzzle or kill off a raven and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to tone it down a little or kind of say, you know what, if I don't get in the third time, just keep on moving with the game. And then, you know, on my off time, get to it. And I'll explain to you how you guys could do it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys later. Take care.